Thank you both uh, for talking to me. I just watched literally this morning or watched <laughs> the episode. Fresh. And uh, um, mm. can I ask both of you to tell me, had you read the book before you, um, you, you got involved in this series? No, I don't, neither of us. No, nope. we. I still haven't. <laughs> no, I haven't either. We we were told that it wasn't the it's same, so and so sometimes oh. that can complicate things in your head. So it's best just to go with what's in front of you on the script. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of subterfuge and, and throughout the whole story, and I'm mm. very interested in in um, the person that she is. Yes. Your character is uh, isn't isn't exactly who we think she is. Can you tell us more about her? Yeah, she has layers, um, yeah. many. Uh, she had an interesting childhood. She came from nothing, living in a camper van with her mum. Um, we do explore that relationship a little bit more. Um, Julie Graham plays my mum brilliantly. Oh, yeah. um, so she's, she's, she's worked her way up and gotten herself into this marriage that she is very much on, on lots of levels. She's very happy with and they have a very magnetic physical relationship. Um, I think they're quite a good match in terms of... Um, intelligence and uh, they're, they're soulmates in lots of ways um, they are the centre of the community she's the doctor's wife mm. she really likes that she likes status and this newfound identity um, mm. it's really the most important thing to her I think other than uh, her husband and her daughter okay. but then it all starts to unravel um, and we do learn a little bit about what they have gotten up to in their marriage in the past, which is a little bit um, surprising in a good way, I think. She comes across as being very Proper. twin set and pearls, mm -hmm. but there's so much more going on yeah. than that. So, um, yeah, I think it's I think it's very well um, placed. Her reveal is very well placed throughout the four episodes yeah. and she does keep surprising the viewer, I think, which is good. Angela, can we can we talk about your your character? She she she's no nonsense. She's she really doesn't take no, no for an answer. Tell yeah, us more about the her. dogged determination of Di Aileen Edgeworth. Um, yeah, she is very very committed to her job. She loves her job, although by her facial expressions, you wouldn't think that she enjoys anything. <laughs> but she does um, thoroughly enjoy um, uh, enjoy her job. You know, catching the criminals, working out uh, the puzzles, um, and when this case comes through, in fairness, you know it's. It's it's pretty straightforward. She goes in in that first episode. She is very very sure of her arrest, um, and she learns a few lessons along the way about you know not maybe being so tunnel visioned. Um, but she is a joy to play in the fact that she's completely different to anything I've really played before mm. she's she is very very buttoned up she's very introverted um and yeah she's she's pretty she's pretty humorless really <laughs> without giving anything away obviously because we don't want to do that mm. um can you t tell me about the how the let you your relationship, uh, your, the, your character's relationship develops throughout the series. And do you get to a point of understanding where each of one is com coming from? I don't think we do, really. <laughs> Maybe that would be series two. <laughs> yeah. We we are uh, very suspicious of each other. I don't think we like each other very no. much. Mm. So even from um, that first the Literally, the first, literally the first you coming through the door, yeah. Yeah. you put my back up. Yeah. I think also I'm, uh, Beth is used to people responding to her and she's she like you know she's the center of the community and she's got she's got beautiful outfits and everyone swarms around her and, and Edgeworth it means tell nothing us. to in her in fact in fact walking into that house yeah. uh, which is the most incredibly beautiful house yeah i think she's a bit probably a little bit too judgy in fairness Takes Edgeworth. Them, <laughs> i think she it, she literally does straight away yeah which so is that, very unprofessional but that kind of continues throughout in that um I think Beth is, is afraid of her in some ways because I think she no realizes that she's good at her job and that she is she's like a dog with a bone. Mm. Yeah. But equally, I think she wants to stick two fingers up to her and I, she she won't be outsmarted by her. They're a good match. Yeah. I think they're a good. It's good isn't it? Yeah, it's fun. It's fun to play. <laughs> you mentioned earlier that uh, there was, there's a little bit of change from the the original text to the screenplay. Obviously, yes. yeah. uh, how much did you have? To 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 do with sort of ad lib in the screenplay at all, or where you was there a moment where you something wasn't working, and you know the the screen the screenwriters would come to you and ask 
yes. where they think you should take it? It was quite a, a collaborative um, job for that, actually. And mm. Laura Way, the director, who we both Absolutely love, um, she was very much into... Um, we did quite a lot of uh, Zoom meetings and we did rehearsals and we did have the opportunity to say we didn't think that this was quite working and then it would go back to the writers. And so, yeah, it was it was very, very much a collaborative experience in that way, which is kind of thrilling mm. to have a say. And um, and they were very willing to m- move things around. Um, I don't know about you, Angela. Do you feel- yeah, I mean, mm. um, initially when when the scripts came through, Edgeworth was, was, was quite, um, she was a copper and mm. she had a, a, a mission and, and, and there wasn't hugely meat on the bones and we kind of did the same thing, had some rehearsals, had some chats and we kind of found um, a little key that unlocked unlocked Edgeworth and kind of mm. just gave her a few other little levels that maybe weren't, aren't in the book. I haven't read the book, so she I don't made, know. Made her. But, um, yeah. but yeah, there is, there's quite a lot of... Uh, Sex features very heavily yeah. in the in it. <laughs> it doesn't feature heavily in Edgeworth's life. Oh right, okay. okay. And so we really used that mm-hmm. as there is no sexual freedom with the with, with, with Edgeworth, and it actually makes her uncomfortable. And as this as the case continues, and sex becomes quite prominent, um, Edgeworth gets more and more uncomfortable. And we really we really used that um, as a character. Uh, trait for Edgeworth and it really unlocked her it really really unlocked her um, so there is uh, so yeah there was there was a, a bit of leeway and we got to put put things in that mm. maybe in life. Life. <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> there's like a strong sort of trend of mystery thrillers that are mostly aimed at female yeah. audiences and um, um, at, how do you, how, are you a fan of that kind of genre and and mm. <laughs> and what, what what is your favorite uh, either book or, or um, even like uh, true crime or anything like that. Do you? I do like a th- I like a thriller. I like suspense. Although I hide a lot behind <laughs> furniture. Um, I'm a big fan of the, a French series called Spiral. Oh, oh I love yes. Engrenage. Oh, yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, I love that. I would have there attempted to say it, but my French is appalling. Um, <laughs> yes, I, that's my kind of vibe. Oh, fabulous series. Slightly violent, but not too violent. Yeah. But the characters, I just love the lead character in yeah. that. I think it's fa- yeah, fantastic. Yeah. 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 And do you know about you? I mean, I love it. I love real crime. I love true crime podcasts. I like films of crime. I'm a real, I'm a huge fan. Um, I mean, I love the Luthers. I love... Uh, the Killing Eves, yeah, yeah. you know, I, I, I just, I'm a huge, huge fan. You know, there's obviously a massive appetite for it. This is something when I read it where I went, yep, I'll watch it. Okay. And I think if it's something that you want to watch, hmm. then you absolutely want to. So to what be can in. we expect? Are there going to be loads of like really like shocking sort of things, twists? and There are lots of twists yeah. and turns in it, actually. Mm. And it's very, the pace is fast. Um, you, you won't be bored. Um, oh, okay, good, I good, think, good. yeah, I mean, even we've seen episode one. Yeah. And I think they keep you guessing and they keep surprising you. Yeah. And I, yeah, I think it's really well paced. Laura's done a brilliant job. And it's directing. beautiful as well. Yes. It's beautiful. It's all set in Folkestone yeah. and, and kind of that that south mm. um, coast of England. Mm. And I think they've really captured it mm. on screen. So you've got, you know, you've got the crime and thrilling aspect of it, but also it's a beautifully made drama. You know, it's... It's really sexy. It's not. It's not the <laughs> gritty grey north. No, it's not the gritty grey north. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much for talking to me. Thank and you very much. Congratulations and good luck with Thank it. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, hey you guys. Hey, you guys. Hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys. Hey, you 